It's a One Piece crossover with uh, Toriko and Dragon Ball Z. They're fucking dubbing it. Let's fucking go. Tanami to host the U.S. premiere of One Piece crossover special with Dragon Ball and Toriko on March 4th. Say what? Look at this shit. So this came out as a promotion for Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. This is Goku post Super Saiyan God. I'll put it that way. It's like right after Battle of Gods, this Goku. I don't think... Tanami's been dry lately. I think they needed this. Tanami's been very dry lately. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Tanami dropped a bombshell in their most recent schedule update, announcing that they would be airing the TV special featuring a crossover with One Piece, Goku, and Toriko. Did you just call Luffy One Piece? <laughs> One Piece, Goku, and Toriko. Wow. They either called Luffy, One Piece, or Dragon Ball Goku. <laughs> and the Gourmet Hunter. So, this is great and all, but I'm also concerned about something. I'm going to tell you what it is I'm concerned about. They stopped dubbing Toriko, right? The legendary crossover episode from episode 590 of One Piece will be seen only on Tanami. One Piece... Episode 590 is this crossover. But we have a problem. The first episode of this crossover is a Toriko episode. That means they're not going to play the first episode. They're just going to start from the second the second half of the crossover. That, that, that kinda, um, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm fucking happy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But they're only airing the One Piece portion. The end. The half. Not the beginning. Not the startup. That's kind of, I know, like, I know that they're not Eric Toriko and they don't have the right to Eric Toriko, but at least, like, that one episode at least, right? At least do the whole thing. Like, Tanami's been very weird with One Piece. Like, they started off at episode 200, right? Now, I know it aired on um, Cartoon Network before, so I'll, I'm, I'm going to give them a break on that one. I'm going to give them a break. Because on Cartoon Network, the Funimation dub did take over after they ran out of 4Kids episodes. And uh, I think Funimation, they ended up uh, doing the whole um, Sky Island arc on Cartoon Network, surprisingly. So, Adult Swim started off where they should have. Tsunami, they tried to do that. They pretty much, they're about to re-air Naruto on Cup, but they were like, fuck that, we already aired this on Cartoon Network, let's just start with Shippuden. Smart move. So, now, after they did that, they took One Piece off the air after Thriller Bark, right? Was it after Thriller Bark? I think it was after Thriller Bark ended. Then they just skipped to the new world. They skipped the whole war. They skipped everything. Motherfuckers watching One Piece saying, why are they older? What the fuck? Ace is dead? How? Should I have said that? One Piece fans that's not even watching One Piece, that that's, one, that's not even up to that. Might uh, I, I might censor that part out in the video. I don't want to... I'll set you <laughs> I'm very considerate. Um, even though that episode aired years ago. Fuck that. Should I? Maybe. I'll think about it. Motherfucker. You shouldn't be watching this crossover if you're not caught up to One Piece anyway. I'm leaving that shit uncensored. Ace died. Alright? Ace is dead. So, <laughs> and they skipped that on Tanami. They skipped the whole arc. When Luffy went to prison. It's called Impelled Down, that prison. Impelled Down. Guess what's being impelled? I'll leave that to your imagination. You want to know what's being impelled down in that prison? You better watch One Piece. Anyway, yeah, they're starting from the second half. I kind of don't like that. I'm just happy it's being dubbed. I'm guessing the first half is going to, you're going to buy it on Blu-ray, I guess. But that's pretty much it. They're, that's that's something to be excited about, all right? Super special crossover episode. They're not saying episodes. Uh, set to air on Tsunami this March 4th. This, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I always wanted this dubbed. But at the same time, they're not doing the whole thing. Uh, I'm disappointed. And everyone that's watching that's gonna be so lost, cause who the fuck knows about Toriko, right? I watched Toriko a bit. I stopped watching it cause the anime just turned to shit. I had to stop. It was terrible anime. Everyone's telling me to read the manga, so I'll do that in the future. But I just, I just don't feel like laying eyes on the Toriko anime right now. Um. <laughs> It was so ass. Like, it's, it's supposed to be a shonen anime, and they're barely even fighting. They, they spend more time eating than fighting. 
And it's very disappointing. Beating up animals and villains. Like, they beat up more creatures than they do villains. It, it, it gets boring after a while. I didn't sign up for fucking Monster Hunter, alright? What, what makes me excited about this? There is more good than bad. This is more good than bad. So, let me tell you the bad. The bad is they're only going to air the second half of this episode, alright? If you want to see the first half, that's a Toriko episode. The good is, not only is this being dubbed, it's being aired on television. Not only that... Not only that, I don't know if they're going to carry the Dream 9 name, because that was the action block in Japan that it aired in. This is Tanami. this ain't the Dream 9 block, but if they keep it, kudos to them. But another good thing is, if they're airing this shit, maybe they could air Dragon Ball Z 2008, dub it, you know, the little Dragon Ball Z special with Vegeta's younger brother, Tarble. Maybe uh, dub that Crunchyroll? Hmm? Maybe give us, uh, Dragon Ball Z plan to eradicate the Super Saiyans? English dubbed? Maybe, uh, episode of Bardock? Uh, yeah. You know, you know, it's just a thought, you know. No, no, it's nothing crazy, you know, it's just a thought. Dragon Ball Heroes might be asking for too much, but if y'all dub that, sure. I'll fucking rewatch all those episodes in the English dub. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm looking forward to this shit whenever this airs, uh, March 4th. That's, uh, that's this weekend, right? This Saturday is going to be a very interesting one. And you know what? I got a little clip for you guys. Oh. Toei Animation decided to give us a little clip. <laughs> 40 seconds. Tune into Adult Swim Tsunami at 1 a.m. on Saturday night. Technically Sunday morning. March 4th. For the amazing crossover special episode of Toriko Cross One Piece Cross Dragon Ball Z, premiering an English dub and airing for the first time ever in the US. Let's hear this. I can't wait to hear Goku's English voice with Luffy's. I can't say the thing for Toriko because I'm pretty sure. Wait, who's Toriko's voice? I'm pretty sure it's the same voice as Jiren, right? I, I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Jiren. <laughs> or Ace. Or both. Patrick, maybe? We'll see. Right. Toriko dub ended prematurely. <laughs> they stopped dubbing Toriko. <laughs> so, I started watching it sub, and then the anime ended prematurely. I think it had an anime original ending. They really disrespected that series. People say they treat Bleach bad, but they really treated Toriko like garbage. They treated Toriko like shit. And I'm not going to say rightfully so, because the manga was fire, but that anime was dookie. That anime was shit. Let's check out this little scene, though. All right. Dinner is ready, ladies and gents. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Let's go. Food. So this is the legendary carrot sizzle cattle steak? God damn it. I can almost taste it through my eyeballs. It's a real special kind of meat, so you best... Like, if y'all dub Toriko, I'll keep watching it, too. Like, if they dubbed it, I'll actually keep watching it. The reason why I stopped watching Toriko is that, like, not only is it subbed, right? I'm not against subbed, subbed anime, but I'm not gonna... I'll, I'll probably watch an anime if it's shit, if it's dubbed, but I'm not gonna put in effort and read the subtitles of a shitty anime, you know? I'm not gonna put in the effort. If y'all dub it, I'll watch the Duke itch. But I'm not putting in the effort to read the subtitles of a shitty story, alright? I want to multitask when I do that shit. Like, come on. Take your time and savor it properly. But there's plenty to go around, so you can have as many helpings as you want. That looks great. Hey, slow down. I love how they're all shaded differently. Yeah, Torko has three-tone shading. Better him than Goku, huh? <laughs> we got enough three-tone Goku for a lifetime. God damn it. Let Toriko be ugly for this episode. You foldable Toriko stand stand up. Yo, did you know you foldable animated Toriko before? And it's the best look. He actually looks beastly. He looks like a he looks like he'll kill you. Like he looks barbaric on that. Like I really like that. Uh you know, he looks a little bit more vicious. I like that animation style, but <sighs> Toei's gonna Toei. Nothing against Toei, but I don't know why they did Toriko this way. First, you gotta put your hands together and demonstrate your gratitude. Oh, yeah, right. What if Goku was like, why the fuck would I pray to myself? And he just went Super Saiyan God? Oh, yeah, yes, there's a lot of uh, weird art in this episode, as you can see. 
this didn't get corrected. Once it aired on the television, that's it. There was no correction. It was done. It was done. They didn't correct it for the Blu-rays and nothing. I give humble thanks for the vast bounty this world provides. Give us a Dragon Ball Naruto and uh One Piece crossover. Give us a Naruto versus Bleach crossover, a Bleach versus Yu Yu Hawk. I'm asking for too much. And I heard they were planning to do a Bleach versus Naruto crossover. I saw the storyboard for it that Studio Period had, but then they canceled it. It was like the beginning of Shippuden. It was around that time period. Very sad shit. They didn't go through with it.